G'day and welcome to my garage. This is a, um, a 10mm uh, rod of um, stainless steel. I'm just creating a, I think it's a, um, a, bo a, a, a D cutter, a boring bar. I'm down to 5.32 at the moment. I'll put, put some shape, shape into it. Uh, this is the, um, the cutting edge. So, uh, yep, this is the cutting edge. <laughs> I'd say because I've already taken it. I'm just on the uh, the fine wheel to get it down to five mil. I don't have a surface grinder, so I'm just using a the, uh, the, the standard bench grinder. And, um, to an extent, you could call it the mechanics um, lathe. I've done. Uh, Before I got a lathe, I did a lot. I did a lot of hand turning on a uh, bench grinder. What are we down to? 5.19, 5.12. Little bit more to go. We're down to five mil. Okay, well, um, we'll get the stone out and finish that off. Come on, focus. I don't know why that won't focus. Oh, close to think. Does that focus? Now it focuses. I think. All right. Let's try this uh, this D bit for uh, boring it out. Give it some cranks. Give it some lube. Chuck. Trouble is, I don't have a chuck key that fits properly. Must do something about that. Maybe a bit more lube on the shaft. I, uh, I really shouldn't do that. I've only got a uh, high range in this gearbox. And I haven't got any um, any new gears for it yet. I've ordered some steel ones, but um, probably won't see those for another four or five weeks. So that's not working out too well. All right, let's see how we go. Well, it seems to be working if I do it by hand. I haven't got enough power in the uh, in the lathe or enough grip on the shaft in the chuck, but uh, it seems to be working.
Well, I hope so. A little bit of oil. I'll see you when uh, I'll come back when it's when it's through. Well, it didn't take too much more to get that through. Um, had to do it by hand because there's uh, not enough power in the in the machine. If I had low range, I would probably be able to do it. But um, I've got to do something about the, uh, the the key key chuck key for the chuck. It's um, that. That pin is too small for the hole. The um, the gear will probably the drive gear will probably work. Or I can see if I can find myself a uh, a proper key to fit that. And uh, it was uh, there's also I couldn't get enough um, grip on the uh, the uh, mitre t uh, the Morse taper too. That was a homemade thing I did a long time ago. Uh, must must get a proper one one day. But uh, anyhow, that's a nice close fit in there, which is good because this this is the material I'm going to now use to glue super glue into the uh, into the hub, uh, that hub and this hub. So this this one has to be uh, machined out also. All right, I'll catch you. Uh, I'll catch you later after I. Um, clean these up and bore this other one out and get it set up to uh, clean clean up the faces. Catch you later. Okay that's 20mm, I've got to go to 26mm to break through. Oh, we'll let the cool down. <clears throat> oh, it's hot. Hot to touch. Well, it works. Well, I've done the other, the other one. This one's been done, so uh, I know it works. But I had to do most of this by hand. Looks like I still have to do most of this by hand. <clears throat> 